Hello gamers, welcome to the third take of uh, those or the Red Lake um, tier list for operators. So uh, before I get into it, subscribe wherever I'm close to 300. Whoopie do that day onto the video. Woohoo! Transition that's not happening because it's on a Chromebook because my computer failed. Yay! So first we're starting off pre-made chart because I can't do this in 15 minutes while dragging everything in. Found out the hard way, aka take two. So first, S tier hacker. Um, drone's not that powerful. It, I don't think it needs really that much of a nerf. It just needs to deal less damage to the Kraken tentacles. And I think it'd be fairly balanced because like a single drone doesn't really do that much. It just kind of kills a few random enemies here and there. GOC, pretty solid operator. Um, the, it, um, the NPCs aren't something to mess around with. Not as great as he used to be when you just AFK for the first four rounds, use a missile, summon NPCs, and then reset to a different operator to get XP. But that, that was for an era, still pretty good. Hunter was the only way before to really reliably get good ending. You need a lot of hunters to be really coordinated. So you would get Hunter and then get GOC after. Next we have the um, MTF Commander. S tier because he's pretty good. He gets the upgraded BHR, which is the gun I main. That's the, what I use. I don't use the LMGs or anything like that. I use that. So that's nice starting off with one. Next we have the um, FBI Sniper, the Marksman. I don't have this one, but from watching videos, he's pretty good. He's just an upgraded hunter. Next, we have the engineer. Healing your base is pretty cool. Other than that, he's useless. Just reset and heal your base. Next, we have the commander, or the SD captain, security department captain. I would say he's a better um, MTF commander, just because you get healing, um, ammo, and a cool gun. Um, and also the, the fire rate buff. Next, we have the UIU Elite, a solid operator, not much of a con, but um, not much cons. And uh, his gun's pretty solid. Uh, he has lots of health and runs faster. He's really good, though, if you have a teammate um, that's also running a, um, a UIU operator because you get that speed buff. Plus, with the badge, you get 20% more damage and all the other buffs, so that's pretty good. Next, we have Tactical Response pretty low level unlock and he's like the first good operator you'll get um plus he gets teabagging ability which is also great the accountants in a with a coordinated team you can get a money printer by wave one <laughs> i've done that before that's how i got my goc operator we just printed money bags the entire round we all had super buffed up stuff by wave 15 it was ridiculous it was a slaughter we spawn killed bolty before he got to the first hill and this was like when bolty was um, the old Bolty, yeah, the really old one. That one we spawn killed. Next we have Fire Eaters. Flamethrower is pretty good. The ice against walkers. The ice gun is really good against riots, so it just kind of counters both. Plus, um, he has gas gas immunity, like Delta. So overall, really good. Next we have Vanguard. His exoskeleton is really good, and his gun he spawns with that wave 14 is really really powerful. So worth using definitely rcu looks sick and stun shotgun is really powerful definitely worth getting as one of your first masteries next we have shade the supposed best operator in the game according to the devs but absolutely sucks i don't even know why this thing has a cap like sure you can kill blockers efficiently but like so does every other class in the entire game so like why does it matter but anyways, B, he's alright. Next we have UIU Assault. Just kind of elite, but worse. Except grenade spam is pretty powerful. If you chain a lot of grenades, like get 18 kills and your three grenades you get, use your grenade ability and keep going. Next we have Hammer Down. Um Uh he's alright. I guess less recoil and stuff. He's good with um heavy machine guns. But other than that, he should spawn with the Vanguard gun, I think. But it should be switched to a heavy machine gun or something. Because Hammer Down is supposed to be, like, high damage and stuff in SCP lore. So that doesn't really make sense, but whatever. Next, we have um, Among Us, the Among Us character. Um, he spawns um, NPCs. Um, I think he's a reference to a TV show, like a uh, Squid Game. Yeah, but Among Us is funnier, so he's Among Us. Um... I don't have this operator, but he's just worse DOC. So, yeah. Uh, sus. Next, we have 
H R U, I think. The UIU heavy guy. Wait, that's that's really what he's called. Anyways, D sucks. Next, <laughs> we go on to Thaven. Uh, just the um, MTF uh, radio game pass, basically, but the class. And next, we have Hog Rider. He's really good at playing objective. Um, Hog Rider. Next, we have Delta. It's one of the worst operators in the game. But for some reason, people defend this horrible class. Well, he gets cool blocks. He's immune to the gas ability. He sucks. He has his ability is only good at dealing damage to chaos and surgency. This event and that one wave in classic mode that is absolutely useless. And even then, like any other class can kill chaos fairly easily. Your 20% much damage doesn't do much, and you got the same ability as uh. Uh, demolitionist but half the time you'll die and the horde will pass you you'll get back up when you're doing your animation and then get mauled again so cool you just die but slower epic next we have demolitionist who would have thought uh, good against sprawl i guess the lures are okay but trapping things are super situational so the bombs are pretty trash Next, we have SD Sergeant. His ability only works on lower op tier operators. So I think that's the four below um, Guard, Scout, Viper, and then other Sergeants. It's a damage buff, so it's, even then it sucks. So who cares? Don't use this operator. The only ability that's good about it is the ammo. Always having ammo with you is such an underrated ability. Next, we have Valkyrie. A uh, upgraded MTF Game Pass drop thing, I guess. He swaps free bandages to, um, free MP5s, I think. No, wait, they're vectors, they're vectors. So, I guess it's cool, and it's only $50 to summon bandages, so, so right. Um, fun fact, you can use the radio if you get a 75 kill streak in the UIU event, so that's interesting. Next, we have ISD, the invincible, invisible guy, because of the bug. Um, I'm not gonna say how, because I don't want to get banned, I don't know how to do it. I don't do it though because the class is kind of boring. The silencer gun is literally just the Glock with a cylinder attached to it. It's super lazy and it's really dumb looking, but he's pretty good of a class. He's good for brute forcing objectives, like um pouring. So yeah, pretty solid. Definitely recommend as a good operator. Goodness, my voice is getting sore from saying this over and over. Uh, Viper. Viper's alright. For normal gameplay, he isn't really, but... He's okay. His spells are pretty good again for healing yourself and stuff. It's better on the hands of an experienced player than a noob, though. Next, we have Guard, bread and butter of the game. He doesn't have any pros. He doesn't have any cons. Just kind of use him if you want. Um, pretty solid though, but definitely just replace him as soon as possible. Next, we have Scout, which is just a different version. It's a side grade. You get more speed for less damage and less health, but actually that kind of gives you a bit more health because of the certain perk, but guard gets light armor perk, which is better for gaining health. Next, we have the UIU detective. The certain ability sucks, because you have to wait the cooldown, use the certain ability, which I don't think it works on tentacles, so you can't just run up suicide and then use your ability, which is weird. But yeah, you, you can't, so I guess doing three times damage is so cool, I guess. Maybe the bosses, but I don't find much use for them otherwise. Because it's only for you anyway, so half the time you'll die after using your ability. Next, we have Juggernaut. A really hot take. First off, I understand his, his potential. I would say he's an A tier for goodness, but I hate this operator of using it. Having to slowly walk out to the front lines just to die because you can't heal is such a pain. Like, just such... Ah, I hate this operator so much. Like, you don't even get infinite ammo. It's other people around you, and helping your branded team is sometimes just annoying. But, eh, he's okay, I guess. Um, you should see how fast he goes. This mastery in fog holding a heavy machine gun and a bag. It's like, it's super slow. It's like just watching a mobile player that's lagging do the slow walk thing. It's horrible. Next, we have, uh... Uh, private who uses German weapons and is a British soldier so that makes sense um he's also just uh, he's a he's a better guard but costs money to unlock like why it just seems useless so anyways 
enough of him. He's trash. Don't use him. Next, we have Researcher of Walter White, but uh, he works with corruption, I guess. Um, which is an outdated mechanic that needs to get changed. The whole corruption thing needs to be reworked. It's really boring running stuff back and forth. And I guess if you enjoy that, uh, you can do Researcher. But even then, you don't gain any operative XP from doing it like Accountant does. So it's just, it's useless. Next, but no, not last, but definitely least, we have Anarchist. Where do I start on how awful this operative is? First off, at Mastery, you get the ability to not die in fire. The things that people always just put out anyways for that little bit of XP. You heal in it. Cool, that's situational first off. You can't heal with items and you already have fairly low health. You get to die slower as your main ability. Why? You get less health because once you hit 20% health or whatever, you immediately go into that down stage. Which just makes you useless because you just slowly die as you run out of ammo and then just stand around until you die. Um, you also get fire grenades which don't heal you and they're the worst in the entire game. Like, they're kind of good for maybe if you want to get a bunch of assists. But, like, other than that, don't use him. He's horrible. F tier, 100%. He doesn't even deserve to be on this tier list. And he's a 45 unlock. A level 45, I believe. Like, at that point, just use tactical response team. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put RRT. Uh, I always call tactical response team RRT because that's what's called an SCP roleplay. Uh, but, uh, just put him in the same tier. Yeah, anyways, thanks for the tier list. Sorry, I'm not really good at doing tier lists. I'm not good at talking on the fly. So, and I've also done this three times. Um, so, I don't really feel like doing this another time. So, yeah, I'm going to upload this, put some music in. Sorry, but I can't really do better videos on this Chromebook. So, just going to be tier lists in the next little bit. <sighs> okay, whatever. If you still sticking around and you haven't subscribed, just do me a favor or whatever. I really want to hit 300 subscribers before I run over video ideas. And then I can get a fresh new batch of when I'm actually back on my computer when I get a new one. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for sticking around. That means a lot. And see you next time when I do a Rise of the Dead gun tier list. The video I've been working on apparently for the past four months. Anyways, see you nerds.